something was going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Talk Nerd to Me. How grouse is this? It is yet another exciting Friday night and today, once again, or tonight, I'm being joined by MPS and Jeffro. Lads, how are we all? We're awesome. Everything is awesome. When you're Everything is nerdy. Uh, what we're going to discuss now, I'm going to pass this over to MPS, is we're actually going to talk about the year that was. So MPS, over to you. Well, yes, the year it was, and guess what year it was? 1995. So, a few. We'll start off with some of the boring facts. The Australian Prime Minister was Paul Keating. I think that was after he uh, uh, took out Bob Hawke and complained a fair bit. Uh, the US President was Bill Clinton, who did not have relations with that woman. Uh, the South African State President was Nelson Mandela. I got no jokes about that one. That's uh, cool. <laughs> the UK was uh, was John Major, and uh, Boris Yeltsin was the General Secretary of the CPSU, uh, Russia and the Soviet Union. So they're the major well, world. Well, that is very exciting stuff. I actually did a quick check, and I know you're going to bring this up in a second about how many sci-fi movies came out in '95, and there were millions of them, millions, billions, in fact. Millions. Well, we can't go through millions. We'll go through a few, but not millions. But we'll get to the movies a little bit later. Uh, let's hit technology. 1995. Guess what came out technologically wise? I know. I know. Oh, oh, Mr. Carter. Yes, Jeffro. Windows 95. Windows 95. Yeah. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Indeed. Just seriously. <laughs> and Windows 95 went on to go to about 2000. Uh, so it was Windows 97, 98, and 2000, I think, Millennium Edition. Uh, JavaScript was first introduced and deployed. Uh, eBay started uh, its online auction. Um, DVD, optical disk storage media format, is announced. Uh, the Space Shuttle Atlantis docks with the Russian Mir space station. Galileo spacecraft arrives at Jupiter. Uh, in December. Uh, Go figure roll. <laughs> Uh, something a little bit more uh, not so happy times. Uh, the Oklahoma City bombing occurred. Uh, what else was there? There was one more thing. Uh, OJ Simpson is found innocent at the time. Good old Orange Juice Simpson. So I told you all along. Yeah. Yeah. The New York Times and Washington Post published the Unabomber's 35,000 word manifesto. There you go. This is it's all the There's the light rating pointer. Done, all right. All right. All right. We'll go to uh, a couple of the toys that came out in 1995. Teacher Barbie. <laughs> Here's one for Jeffro. Mech Godzilla and Fighting Ship. Yeah. I'll, I haven't got that one, but I wish I did. Yeah. And Beanie Babies came out starting 1995. Uh. So that was the... <laughs> Well, you don't have any of those, Jeffrey? No special ones? Uh, my wife has a few. Okay. Uh, with with the tags and tag protector, if that rings any bells for anybody. Very Not good. for me. I didn't collect them. So uh, in terms of popular music, m musicians, that's a hard mm -hmm. one to get out tonight. Uh, Supergrass, Weezer, Smashing Pumpkins, have you seen the film um, uh, 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 Bowfinger, where she turns around, and she says to him, says to Steve, uh, oh crap, what's his name? Steve Martin. And she, uh, she says, "Do you like smashing pumpkins?" He goes, "I love doing that." He's, she's referring to the band. He's referring to actually hitting pumpkins. Uh, Van Halen, Whitney Houston was still around at that stage. Mariah Carey, Alanis Morissette. I think that was her first album in 1995. Jagged Little Pill, uh, Madonna. And we're going to do both country and western. So Garth Brooks, uh, Janet Jackson. All right. Now for the fun stuff, the movies. What movies came out in 1995? Millions of them. Toy Story. Toy Story, which was the first wholly computer-generated film. 
the disappointment of the year for Dags and me was Batman Forever. So we're not going to talk about that. Apollo 13. Pocahontas. You can make your own jokes there. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Golden Eye. Casper. Jumunji, which has had its two sequels so far. Die Hard with a Vengeance. And Braveheart. They were the, the popular films at that time. Let's, hit, let's start with the sci-fi film. Dude, go for it. Well, there's so many. I was actually quite surprised, and some of them I'd never even heard of before. Uh, Angie's actually mentioned a couple already. But the ones that struck me, and I haven't seen all these, obviously, but uh, you had Johnny Mnemonic, which is good old Keanu yes. Reeves. And he's thinking, yes. plug in his head, and he was a walking hard drive, which was kind of groovy. Water Willies. Okay, Water World. Okay, yeah, good old Kevin Costner at his best. They have Mad Max on the, on the drink. Uh, came out that year. Screamers. That was um, a Peter Weller film, if I recall correctly, Defro. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. Which came out, which was it was sort of interesting at the time. Uh, Tank Girl. Here's one there for. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I love yes. Tank Girl. Yeah, Laurie, so, Laurie, what's the name? I can't remember. And I can't remember either. Uh, I never really saw it, but I remember of it. But uh, 12 Monkeys, of course, came out in 95. Absolutely fantastic movie. Well worth checking out, as we discussed last week, regarding time travel and viruses. Um, the animated film Ghost in the Shell came out, uh, which I think was an anime film, but I never actually saw that. For your um, 2000 AD fans, Judge Dredd came out. I think it was probably the Sylvester Stallone version. So uh, that was all very <laughs> pretty. Um, a few sequels came out that year too. Cyborg Cop 3. Who knew that there was a, there was a third, second, and a third movie? So there you go. Um, Extro also had a third film come out that year as well. So I thought, oh, okay. So there was two sequels to that as well. Uh, as mentioned, Batman Forever came out. And, of course, what would have to be the highlight film of the year, the one that you must watch regardless of whatever else is out there, Attack of the 60-Foot Centerfold. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a lot of centerfold to go around. We haven't even heard of that. So yeah. uh, there you go. No. Cool. And David, David's right. Outbreak. I forgot about that one. I just yes, saw that yeah, on, I, on another I'm list. Really stuff, but yes, Outbreak did come out. Excellent movie. Yeah. 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 Uh, Bad Boys, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Clueless, which is not one of my favorites. Uh, Species came out. Yes, Dark yeah. Man 2. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Dark Man 2. Um, Oh, Billy Madison for all those uh, Adam Sandler fans and Grumpier Old Men, which I think the three of us are. <laughs> oh, that's a great movie. That's, that, that, that's a great movie. You beat me to it. It's in front of me. Uh, yeah. Also, Desperado, Get Shorty. That was another great one. Uh, Devil in the Blue Dress, which I'd seen back in the day, which was a brilliant film, if I recall. Um, what else was there? Casino. Uh, and that's about it. We'll leave it there because there was a bunch of them. So, Very good. And I think I'll wrap up in 1995. So what I would like everyone out there to do now is to give me another year. And the consensus will be whatever year you give me or if you guys want to give me a year, we'll go from there. Well, before we completely wrap up 95, a couple of things that did happen on the TV front, which I'll just chuck in. A lot of TV shows were running through at that time. But probably one of the major one is for Star Trek Voyager. It was its first year, actually. For Bill right. Not first season of Voyager. Uh, and uh, one thing the MPS didn't mention, which I thought he might have, Batman the Animated Series finished in 1995. So, uh, oh, guess what? Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing the original t shirt from 1992. Oh, well done. Oh, very good. Ultra rare collectible, even with Jeffro sweat stains. Absolutely, well, that's right. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a whole lot of shows that were still in production at that time: Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, X Files, Babylon Five, of course. It's prime time in the in the nineties. Sliders, Earth Two, uh, Out of Limits, Red Dwarf, and there's a whole slew of them that were sort of rolling through in that period. So, and Highlander the series, <laughs> there can be only one. Um, and from a fan point of view. It was actually quite interesting because uh, in local Melbourne fandom in particular, Force One, the first National Star Wars Saga Convention of Australia, <gasps> took place in Easter 1995 and it kicked off a big slew of Star Wars conventions. And we we think that it was probably the first uh, only Star Wars convention in the world at that point. So uh, there you go. It all kicked off in 95, which was kind of groovy. And that was over Easter. So uh, very groovy. So have we got any – anybody – no, we haven't got any years yet. So everybody out there, you've got to type in your year. What year do you want us to look at next? So uh, 
There you go. Actually, I can I can throw in a few things too. I've got some quotes from uh, 1995. What? So here's here's one that uh, is Batman related. In a private conversation during Batman Forever, Jim Carrey approached Tommy Lee Jones to say hello. Jones replied, "I hate you. I don't really like you. I cannot s sanction your buffoonery." So that's a, uh, a a quote that actually I think someone put on a T-shirt at one stage. Yep. Uh, another quote that's very famous: "No suit for you." So if you don't know what that's from, that's from uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yep. Nineteen ninety-five. Houston, we have a problem. Yep. Apollo thirteen, yep. and to infinity and beyond. Toy Story. Yep. So there's the. Um, oh, and lastly, uh, Russian President Boris Yeltsin's first words to President Clinton upon meeting him in nineteen ninety five. Apparently, they haven't been verified, but it's. Do you think OJ did it? That's, <laughs> I mean. that's, that's on the internet. Considering so it, must be true. it must be true. Considering the scandal that uh, surrounded Bill Clinton, I was wondering what that quote was going to be. But uh, fortunately, it was all family friendly. So that's the most important thing. And the worst, the worst movie quote of all comes from Batman Forever, yeah. where Alfred says, Sir, would you like a sandwich? And he goes, I'll get a drive through. Like, yes. no, you won't, you <laughs> moron. Who's going to? There's no <laughs> space big enough for the Batmobile to go through drive through. Know, Not to mention, he also turns around and says to Chase Meridian later on, she goes, he goes, it's the car. Chicks dig the car. No, yeah. he never says stuff like that. So just yeah. for the writer of that film, just, oh, I don't know, go jump. I, I, just... think the, I think the reason why is because they had uh, uh, commercial tie-ins so they could, you know, sort of then tie that up with um, KFC, I think it was, that actually had the rights or, or such. But Matt, that's McDonald's the reason why they put that in. McDonald's had it because they brought out the glasses, which... Oh, the big, yes, you're the, right, too. The, the big the thing glasses. about that was the glasses were made in and France. And they had drive-throughs, so that's probably why they're throwing it in. It's a bit of a, um, a yeah. free plug. But France, France, they made the glasses in France, and France had the nuclear testing in, in wherever it was. I can't remember where it was, and everyone was protesting. So for those people who still have a set of those glasses, and I... You have a set, dude, don't you? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple of sets. They're interesting. They're not the best looking things. I like probably the Batman one the most out of the four because um, it was Batman, Robin, Riddler, and Two Face. But they were just they're very precious too. If you if they drop and break very easily, so uh, yeah, not one of the best collectibles around. Yeah, exactly right. Um, Angie's mentioned the Highlander was 1992. That might have been the film, but the TV series was actually, I believe, running through at least either started or finished or was running through 1995. So that's what we're referring to there. So uh, very good. All right. So um, I don't think we've got much more to cover off. I think we're pretty much at the end of our tether. Anybody still sticking around watching us, which is uh, quite impressive stuff. Uh, we're about to sign off in a couple of minutes. So just a quick word from either of you two. If you want to uh, finish off, MPS, you can go first. Uh no, just stay nerdy. Very good. Jeffro? Keep collecting. Spend your money in this time of uh, corona crisis. Very good. And make sure for all those people out there, we're providing some fantastic... Well, let's just rephrase that. We? We're providing entertainment. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, very good. Uh, to everybody, so make sure once we're uh, posting this on Facebook and can, you can watch this back, obviously, you tell the world about us, you know, because there's a lot of nerds out there. They need some home entertainment, and that's what we're providing in some way, shape, or form. So uh, either way, we will see you all uh, next week. In the meantime, party hard, rock on, get your collectibles, watch some movies, and I am Groot, talk nerdy. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Party hard. Okay. Oh, bye. I am Groot.